question 7 find the differential equation which has y equal to a cos mx plus b for its integral a and b being arbitrary constants and m being a fixed constant so we have a family of curve y equal to a cos mx plus b where we have two arbitrary constants a and b we need to eliminate these two arbitrary constants uh, to get differential equation that differential equation will be of second order since we have two arbitrary constants m is a fixed constant so if the differential equation has m in it it's okay so given i'm writing down the given sorry given y equal to a cos mx plus b so equation 1 differentiating with respect to x d by dx on 1 we get dy by dx equal to a into d by dx of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus sin mx plus b into m so first i just use the formula d by dx of f of g of x is f dash of x into g dash of x i use this uh, here f of x is cos theta here f of x is cos x and g of x not cos x actually cos of function function is cos so cos and g of x is uh, g of x is mx plus b uh, f dash of x is minus sign which is here and g dash of x is m is here so we got our dy by dx just writing this down here that is dy by dx is equal to minus a m sin m x plus b this is our equation 2 now we we still have to eliminate b and a from this 2 and 1 uh, we can to do that we need to differentiate again d by dx on 2 we get d square y by dx square equal to same thing Differ differential of sin mx plus b becomes sin differential same using the same formula d by dx of sin uh, function is cos so cos mx plus b differential of this is m so we got from the previous I'm writing as uh, simplify. I'm sim simplifying this formula to the next page, which becomes d square y by d x square equal to minus a m square cos m x plus b. 
this is our equation 3 from 1 we know that a cos mx plus b is y we can substitute a cos mx plus b with y in equation 3 a cos mx plus b u as y using 1 we 3 becomes d square y by dx square equal to minus m square a cos mx plus b is y so, so this is this becomes d square y by dx square plus m square y equal to 0 this is our required differential equation which is it is of second order both the arbitrary constants a and b are eliminated m is a fixed constant that can be in uh, present in this differential equation so this is the required differential equation so that is the solution to question 7